In this video, you'll learn how to design a data entry form in Bartender. A form allows you to input data at print time, which will then be printed on your label or other item. Designing a label template allows you to predetermine how the information on your label will appear when printed. If you need to input new information each time you print, you can do that with a form. This label template has three areas where the print operator needs to input information at print time. To create a form, click the Form tab at the bottom of the design area. Use the handles on the green outline of the form to adjust its size. You can also open the properties of the form by right-clicking on it and selecting Form Properties. In the Form Properties dialog, you can adjust the size of the form, give the form a name, or add a background color. You can also set the tab behavior for the form and modify the font properties. The form utilizes different types of controls to allow the print operator to input data. The Data Entry Control icon allows you to select the type of data input controls you want to use on the form. When you open the drop-down menu, you'll see a number of different options for entering data. You can learn more about each data entry control in the Bartender Help. The Text Input Control allows the print operator to type directly into the form whatever text they want to be printed on the label. You will notice that the control has two parts. The label is the text that tells the print operator what information should be input into the adjacent data entry control. The data entry control is where the operator enters or selects the data. The label is optional and can be turned off on the text label page. To change the text in the label, right-click it to open the Properties dialog. In the text field, enter the text for the label. Now you need to link the control on the form to the name object on the label. The Data Sources pane contains all the different types of data sources on your label template. Under the Template Object Data Sources, you'll find the individual objects placed on the template. To reveal the data source of a template object, click on the plus sign next to the object. To link the data source of the object on the template, to the control on the form, drag the data source from the toolbox over to the field in the text input control. Now, when the print operator enters a name into the form, it will populate the name object on the template. The drop-down list data entry control provides a list of items for the print operator to choose from. To add items to the drop-down list, Open the Properties dialog for the drop-down list and select the List Items node in the navigation. In the Display Text column, click on the first cell and add the first list item. Enter as many items as you wish. Bartender will provide additional cells until your list is complete. Once you have entered all the list items, you can link the drop-down list control to the template by selecting the Linked Data Source node in the navigation pane. Select the List Data Source, then click Close. The drop-down list data entry control is now linked and populated. The date picker control will provide a calendar for the print operator to select a date from. This control works only with data types that are dates. Make sure to set the data type for the object on your template to the date data type. Now you can drag and drop the date data source from the toolbox onto the date picker control to link the two. You can further configure the appearance of the form by adding shapes, lines, or pictures to the form. Add design features the same as you would on your label template. Select objects from the toolbar and click on the form to place them. When finished, click on the Template tab at the bottom of the design area. Select the Print Preview from the File menu to see the newly created form. Fill in the Data Entry fields and click Preview. And here is the label with its fields populated by the Data Entry controls. If you still have questions about this process, consult our other resources at support.siegelscientific.com. Thank you for watching.